So this is courtesy of Hypebeast. It says, Yoon um, from Ambush teases a pair of Nike Adjust Force collaboration shoes, which is a pretty interesting shoe to launch your collaboration with, to be honest. Um, again, I'm, I'm really interested to know what happens at Nike in terms of collaborations of retros. Are they... Do they reach out to a creative or a brand and say, hey, we want you to do a collaboration with us. Here's our selection of shoes that we're looking to reintroduce us to the market and retro. Which one would you be willing to kind of, uh, you know, do your thing on? Or is it the brand or creative going to Nike and saying, I would like to retro, I would like to have these retroed for my first shoe or for my shoe as a collaboration. I wonder which way around it goes because it's a really interesting choice that she went for the uh, Nike Adjust Force um, very a very very um under what's your thing called underrated shoe model in my opinion it still doesn't look that great in terms of shape compared to the actual og we're going to get it up on here actually in terms of what you so you see what i mean because i don't like to complain without evidence so if we search for this on google what you will see in terms of the ogs in terms of shape again these are brand new they come straight from the factory i'm assuming maybe they're samples so maybe they look a bit bulky just because of that but still if we look at the actual og shoes they look a lot more there's something more to them in terms of the shape even this bit here look at what that bit especially around the toe box right it just looks a little bit too boaty there's no real shape to them um especially around the toe box sort of area here right there's nothing the, the back bit basically looks pretty similar and even that doesn't look that great in it the height of this uh, back heel tab doesn't really look too shabby compared to that personally for me i just don't understand why nike can't just do what adidas did with the superstars uh with the adidas superstar aes and the campuses and whatnot and some of the zx's and just you know reverse engineer some of the og pairs and make new tooling and just basically make the retros based off that because for the longest time when i used to be on you know sneaker forums and stuff you'd always get people from nike kind of dropping in from time to time saying oh we can't do it because we've lost the tooling we've lost the molds of the original shoes they're too expensive to make i don't buy it i think that's all bullshit personally I think if you're Nike and you're a billion dollar company, you should be able to just make new tooling of OG shoes. Or you should be able to just go out and buy every size of an Air Max Lite or an Air Max 90 from a particular year and just reverse engineer it with all your expertise that you have and be able to put out an exact copy of a retro. And then you know what happens with that, right? In my opinion, if they're able to put together or release an exact to spec copy or exact to spec retro of a vintage shoe, right and it actually sits the way it used to sit when you used to wear it in the 90s or it looks in terms of the shape right in terms of think of the old school like acgs and you know courts and stuff like an air forces like the shape they had back in the day was just superb compared to what we have now if they're able to do that and then they said to sneakerheads hey we're gonna put these out they're gonna be a premium kind of imagine imagine they took like a vintage like imagine they just imagine this right let's see a vintage nike air max one forget everything else just look like a classic air max one right imagine they went and they they kind of redid the classic air max one also set the get back on the screen here imagine they redid uh, the images right cool imagine they went out and they and they bought a pair of old school vintage air max ones there right? and they said okay we're going to redo these shoes to spec we're going to get the the old ones right back in the day with the big windows like maybe not this from this advert and we're going to remake that actual shoe and we're going to sell it to you guys at a retail price of 300 pounds people would queue up to buy that shit it would sell out still it would sell out easily but instead they make shit that looks like that plasticky crappy you know stuff that doesn't really sit right or they you know or they make or, or or if you're lucky enough and you've got like a size eight foot or you put your foot down enough or you know what I mean you can make it look like that but that's not really the, the actual shape of the shoe let's not let's not be kidding ourselves I had these um, but yeah I'm just annoyed about that stuff it's just it's just basically a me me point of view it doesn't I don't think most people really care when it comes to uh, retros and whatnot but let's go back to the um, what's her face you shoes bear with me a second where are they 
there you go yeah so um all in all they don't look too bad in terms of retros i still think the ogs look far better although these pictures here of you looking at she's at the nike campus look quite encouraging but i think they might be ogs i don't think these are uh, retros i don't think these are ones that she designed so maybe these are a bit of a false advertisement in terms of what the shape looks like because they don't look as high maybe it's a different model I'm, I'm pretty sure it might be i'm not really too sure is it I'm not too sure but um yeah the shape isn't the best from what i can see so far judging on what the retros look like but in terms of having it available um to actually wear in you know nowadays i will still take it over having a pair of shoes like that crumble on me don't get me wrong but i don't know man it's just lacking a bit something in it lacking a bit something and then we've got another one here i've got pictures i think we've got a couple pictures of her actually wearing a pair and not smiling as per usual big up you i mean she was looking like she's seen something she's seen some shit in her life in it craziness but yeah look at that shape brothers like i don't think i'm over exaggerating here man i don't think the shape is that i don't think i don't think the retro that looks that great personally for me maybe it doesn't matter maybe it's a whole entirely different shoe it's not meant to be the same as a retro maybe we're looking i'm looking too deep into it and it's just meant to be a a newer interpretation of an old model but look how great that looks just even there right? i've got on the screen like an an actual old school you know fucking um force and it looks ugh. and you compare that to what she has on her feet it doesn't look the same does it bro it doesn't hit the same man come on let's not lie i don't know man. i don't know these retro things always annoy me really when it comes down to it and for the most part no one really cares but yeah um hopefully they come out soon when's the date on these and the hype piece what they say here no release date has been announced at this time but it's likely that these will release soon in the coming month so yeah they have no idea when they release we'll, we'll find out when they drop in it we'll find out when they drop 